Uh, arm here. And I know I'm a little late on uh, Sun and Moon information, but I couldn't help but share the darkness that lies within this Mega Thrift Mart. Um, um, I don't know how many of y'all have seen it or discovered it on your own like I did, but uh, every generation has its creepiness, has its weirdness. And until recently, I thought this was uh, illegal. Uh, they had a plot in uh, Gen 2 about it being illegal. They alluded to it being illegal in the Sun and Moon demo, so I thought maybe it was still. But here we go. We're just going to go on in and show you what I'm talking about. So. She's gonna, oh, well, I thought I did this already. Oh, well, maybe I didn't save it. Right after I get done talking to her. Um, most of this is innocent and cute and, you know, oh, look, fruit. Or berries. And, oops. And then there's, uh, chips and stuff. Stuff like that that you find at your typical convenience store in the real world. Two hundred dollars, nine hundred dollars. Um, and in here there's moo moo milk and water. Can't buy any of this stuff on the displays, but this display right here is the creepiness, the weirdness. That's right, they're selling slow poke tail on salad for $88, a quiche for $145 an ounce, and sandwiches for $1,100, poke dollars, whatever you want to call them. Uh, that is super creepy, weird, and until I think it was last gen, gen 6, it was illegal. Now, granted, you can't purchase these items. Just the fact that they're there, they're on display, makes it kind of weird. Kind of wonder. I guess that's why Rocket Team Rocket needed those. They were gonna sell them to uh, Alola. There's a theory. But that's not my shtick. So, uh, if you guys find any weirdness like this out there in the Pokemon universe? Share it if you can. Why not, right? Well, that's all I wanted to talk about. That's all I wanted to say, so I'll catch you next time. Oh, before I wrap up here, uh, I am on Twitch at, at ARM 2109. Uh, you can follow me there. You can follow me on Twitter. The handle's up there on the uh, display, or on the thing. And uh, sub here, sub to me on Twitch at GameWisp. I did start a Patreon, but I don't have any things set up for it yet. So if you like this con kind of content, show me some support somewhere if you'd like. Alright, I'll see you next time.